right, lesson three. In this lesson, we'll cover what you as a flight instructor need to know to effectively teach aircraft systems. We'll cover not only what makes an airplane go, but also what systems you need to understand. Okay, let's get started. Hi, Rob Bremer again. This is lesson three, aircraft systems. Most of the concepts covered in this lesson are similar to the commercial pilot course. Again, the FAA wants you to know these really well as you work with your students. Flight instruments such as the magnetic compass and the gyro system will also be covered. This lesson is organized into these topics. The magnetic compass, pitot-static systems, gyroscopic instruments, the electrical system, oxygen systems, cold weather operations, the power plant, the ignition system, fuel systems, the fuel-air mixture control, induction systems, detonation, propeller design, propeller forces, critical engine of the multi-engine airplane, and constant speed propellers. Okay, let's get the instrument system out of the way first. The most basic instrument required for flight is the magnetic compass. The compass consists of a float which is free to turn on a hardened steel pivot. The pivot rides in a glass bearing. There are two small bar magnets attached to the bottom of the float and a calibrated card is mounted around the float. The float assembly rides in a bowl of compass fluid which is a highly refined kerosene type liquid. The calibrated card is visible to the pilot through the glass front of the bowl and the direction the aircraft is headed is read on the card opposite the vertical lubber line mounted just behind the glass. The magnetic compass is subject to a number of errors and limitations. One of them is variation. This is the error caused by the compass pointing toward the magnetic north pole while the aeronautical charts are oriented to the geographic North Pole. Variation is not affected by changes in heading, but it does change with the location on the Earth's surface. Aeronautical charts show the amount of variation to be applied. Let's move on to the next one, deviation. This is error caused by local magnetic fields produced by certain metals and the electrical systems that are in the aircraft. Deviation error is corrected for by swinging the compass. The aircraft is aligned with the directional marks on a compass rose on the airport and the small magnets inside the compass housing are rotated to minimize the error between the compass reading and the direction of the mark with which the aircraft is aligned. Corrections are made on the four cardinal headings and the errors are read every 30 degrees. A compass correction card is made and installed near the compass to show the pilot the compass heading to fly for each magnetic heading. Magnetic dip error. This error is caused by the compass magnets pointing downward as they align with the Earth's magnetic field. This downward pointing is caused by the vertical component of the field and is greatest near the magnetic north poles.